Let's see what we say. A man asked me out at a certain place that I am frequently at, and he's really attractive. And we have really good conversations, you know, as I'm coming and going from this place, nothing too deep. And I politely turned him down. And here's why. I know I'm going to get called superficial. Number one, I know that he does not make enough money. I make more money than him. And I have just learned that in most situations, if you make more money than the man, even though they might start off being encouraging and cool about it, sooner or later, it will start to eat at them. And But especially for black women, situations like that just don't turn out well and not only do i make more money than him based on his his job he just doesn't make a, a lot period i'm just saying for me as a black woman it is not in my best interest to date someone in his particular financial area bear me the speech of well what if things go well you have to fall and the net will catch you there ain't no net honey especially for black women all right and this is not a romantic comedy this is real life this is real life this is real life. One moment, we got a super chat in the building. My man, Leon, is in the building once again, once again. And <laughs> he says, Leon B1 with the $20 super chat. He says, I'm here listening in and shout out to GMT, shout out to the chat. Super Chats help make the channel grow, folks. Every little bit counts. Yes. If you drop $199, $299, I ain't out here trying to panhandle. But it helps grow the show. You know what YouTube says every time you drop a Super Chat? Oh, wow. This show is interesting. People are liking it. On top of that, YouTube takes out their percentage. So for them, they're like, yo, let's push the show further and further out into the algorithm. So as the show continues, oh, damn, you see her face? Yo, I ain't mean to pause it on her like that. Jesus Christ. My bad. But as the, <laughs> as the show continues to grow, YouTube recognizes that this is the place to be. So they push me further and further and further out into the algorithm. So every little bit counts 199 and we have another super chat in the building, my man, Search. I greatly appreciate you. He says nothing. He is just showing the show some love. Much appreciated, my guy. Serge, I got to drop that for you, man. I greatly appreciate you, fam. Every little bit counts. We got d May Moore in the building. She says, GMT. What up, d May? What up? What up? What up? You know what I'm saying? So let's continue on with the show. Let's break this video down a little further. Golly, her face looks crazy. What? Them eyes tell it all. As my man Leon would say, he calls that the thousand body count stare. That's the thousand body count stare. Queen Lala. Queen Lala is in the building. What is good? What is good? It is good to see you over here on a Friday. On a Friday. What up? What up? What up? Ah. So let's break this video down a little further. Yesterday, a man asked me out at a certain place that I am frequently at, and he's really attractive, and we have really good conversations, you know, as I'm coming and going from this place, nothing too deep. And I So we start off with a very attractive man, right? A man that she rightfully so says she's attracted to, right? She's attracted to. He asked her out. He asked her out. So we could only hope for the best, right? Hold on. I politely turned him down, and here's why. She turned him down? I know I'm going to get called superficial. Number one, I know that he does not make enough money. I make more money than him. And I have just learned that in most situations, if you make more money than the man, even though they might start off being encouraging and cool about it, sooner or later, it will start to eat at them. And but So, I can't necessarily say she's lying. There are some men that do feel a way when a woman makes more money. And it's not usually because she makes more money. Sometimes she feels a way, he may feel a way 
because of the way the woman may act and treat him. It's one thing, damn, I keep pausing on her face looking crazy. Yo, I'm messed up. My, my bad. I'm not trying to shoot a shot at you, lady. This is, I'm talking against your talking points, not your face. But what's so crazy is men do feel a way because of the way a woman will make them feel. Now, I keep giving y'all my little stories, right? I had a little story. I dated a woman one time. Yeah, I dated a lot of women. I know this is my past. I'm a married man now. I've changed, right? But I dated another woman in my past. Man, I was broke. I was probably making like, I don't know. Roughly minimum wage back then was like $10 an hour. So I was making minimum wage living in New York City. This woman was an RN. She had it all together. You know what I'm saying? She had it all together. She was an RN. She had multiple patients. That she would see outside of work. So she was making some real money. She had a house in Pennsylvania. I used to cap. I used to, the first date I took her on, I got my income tax check and I spent half the check trying to take her out. Yeah, I was simping. Call it what it is. So I took her out, right? Spent half the check. She thought I was balling. Man, we kept going a little further and further into this relationship. And she realized that I was not making as much money as I put up front with. This woman buried, she said, yo, I remember telling me, you have 10 days to step your game up. You broke me, bro. I felt my heart drop. I had to step my game up. But I couldn't step it up in 10 days. There was no way I could have made more than $10 in 10 days. That was not going down. So I tried to convince her that my $10 an hour and her $80 an hour can equal $90 an hour. And then we can get together and we can make babies and grow. She said, yo, get your dusty ass out my house. I'm like, damn, man. Gotta go back by my mom's crib. This is crazy. This is crazy. You see how they do us, fellas? You see how they do us? This is wow. Let's continue with this video. Especially for black women, situations like that just don't turn out well. And not only do I make more money than him based on his, his job, he just doesn't make a, a lot, period. I'm just saying for me as a black woman, it is not in my best interest to date someone in his particular. So I got a question. Ladies, if, 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 if I got some ladies in the, in the chat, help me understand. What is the difference between you make a, you making more money than a man as a black woman or you just making more money as a man, period? What's the difference? If you was white, would it make a difference? What is this? Why do black women do that? Why is everything as a black woman? What is that about? Help me understand. Oh, I got a good pause on her face this time. I got a good pause on her face this time. See, shorty, I ain't doing you bad. I ain't doing you bad. So. Help me understand, what is the difference between me making $40,000 a year as a black man dating a black woman or me dating for, making $40,000 a year as a black man dating a white woman? Why is it always as a black woman? Help me understand. Financial area. Bear me the speech of, well, what if things go well? You have to fall and the net will catch you. There ain't no net, honey, especially for black women, all right? And this is not a romantic comedy. This is real life. Damn, especially as a black woman. Listen, the way I look at it is like this, right? Depending on your situation, if you're a woman with no children, no children, you have no kids, right? And oh, oh, we got Queen Lala. Queen Lala says, she says the only thing is she thinks that a man is not a man if she can out earn him. I have to agree. That has to be true because it doesn't make any sense. How, how am I not a man? You know? And then here's, this is why I tell fellas, build yourself up and before you get to the top, because you don't want to be at the top looking for a woman. You get at the top, stay single. 
While you're at the bottom and you're working your way up and you know you have that ambition and you find a woman that's on that same exact playing field as you, date her and get married. I, I, I'm with all that. Court her and get married. Don't date her. If you know she's about her business, court her and get married. But if I'm making forty, fifty thousand, and you make a hundred thousand dollars, how is that bad? I'm adding my fifty thousand to your hundred thousand. Now, if we combine our incomes, I'm literally making. We're literally making together a hundred and fifty thousand. We could do more things, especially if we don't have children involved in the equation. And this lady looks old. So the likelihood is she has children and her children are older. So yeah, you could probably date a man and be all right. So I don't understand. I do not understand. I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? My man, Serge, he says, GMT, I don't think it's wise to date a woman who wants to work. Listen. It's going to be what it is. You hear it. I just did a live stream the other day. A lot of these women are out here talking about, I want to work. I agree. Find yourself a woman that wants to work for you and wants to work for the family. I agree with you, brother. But guess what? In the dating phase, she got to work because I ain't spending no money on a woman that ain't working. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just take care of you and your whole lifestyle. And I don't even know if you're worth my investment. So if I get to know you, and you say, eventually, I want to be a wife and I don't want to work. We cool with that. We cool with that. Because then we could build something. When I meet you, you better be doing something. So, so, this is crazy. Everyone, don't forget to hit the like button on your way into the door. Into the door. And I am going to drop the link. I would love, if my man Hank, if you're still listening. Feel free to chime in.